Hi there. Sean Wilmot. Today we're going to be looking at the Mitsubishi Triton in the GLXR with the two-wheel drive. This is the Mitsubishi Triton Ute for 2019. Now this is a GLXR model with a two-wheel drive transmission. That's a little bit unusual for us because normally we play with four-wheel drives, but I'm quite happy with the two-wheel drive because this is the vehicle that spends more of its time on the road than off it. Now it's very similar to the four-wheel drive Triton, which we've seen before, but they've taken all the styling from the four-wheel drive and then built it into the two-wheel drive, which is fantastic, which means a complete new face up here, nicely chiseled lights through here. We've got the daytime running lights over here, but the big advantage is what you can't see, and that's what's contained underneath here. Here's where Mitsubishi has played extensively with the suspension. That's given it a much more beefier feel, it's much more positive on the road, and that's exactly what you need when you're spending most of your time out there on the tarmac and occasionally going off-road onto those building sites. And exactly how good is that suspension? Let's find out. Take you for a ride. Now one of the nicest things about the Mitsubishi Triton range is actually how well they handle on the road. The um, variations that Mitsubishi's built into this particular model, particularly up around the nose, has given us a very, very positive handling ute. And that's really, really quite essential, particularly when you're spending a lot of time on the open highway. Um, we've actually taken these ones off-road and uh, with the VRX models and we found they perform very, very well. But it's on the road where the magic really happens. <laughs> Like its VRX big brother, the Mitsubishi Triton, well all the Tritons actually, run the same sort of engine. That's the 2.4 litre turbo diesel Myvec engine, which puts out 135 kilowatts of power and 437 newton metres of torque. Now, the Mitsubishi GLX-R specification is a little bit uh, down from the top end, which is the VRX. However, that's not to say that you don't get a good level of equipment with this particular ute. One of the particularly nice features is the 7-inch touchscreen, of course, which we're so used to seeing with Mitsubishi product. This also doubles as a reversing camera, which I'm just going to demonstrate now because I have actually driven down completely the wrong street. So we just put the car in the ute into reverse and uh, just back it up nice and easily without even having to use my mirrors, although it's usually good practice to do so. And we can just turn into one of these nice little tight driveways, nice and safe, plenty of room, I can see everything around me. And then we just put it back into drive and carry on out, out of even the tightest of turning circles. With the Mitsubishi Triton being the mainstay of the New Zealand Mitsubishi fleet, you would expect it to have a good level of safety equipment, and this one does. We have the lane departure warning system, we have the forward collision mitigation system, and we also have seven airbags. Speaking of sevens, uh, that's basically the fuel level consumption figure that you're going to be getting with the Mitsubishi Triton. Which hovers somewhere between 7.7 .7 litres per hundred and 8.4 litres per hundred, depending on which transmission you have, the six-speed auto or the six-speed manual. You could be forgiven for thinking that the GLXR specification lacks a little in comparison with the top-of-the-line VRX models, but in this you'd be actually quite wrong. What we have here is a 7-inch touchscreen with all its familiar to Mitsubishi users, so you have the FM, AM, DAB, etc, etc. You also have an HDMI charging point along with multiple charge points for USB connectivity underneath the um, air conditioning system. Over on the steering wheel, which is multifunctional by the way, you have voice command recognition, so you can talk to the car. That complements the Bluetooth connectivity, which is very, very handy because this particular vehicle comes with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto functionality as well. And just like that Hercules that passed overhead, fabulous vehicle as you can see from the interior, and the exterior is just as good, if not better. Basically, that new face has transitioned really, really well from the four-wheel drive to the two-wheel drive model. Let's everybody know that this is definitely the new Mitsubishi. It's robust, it's reliable, it's dependable. It's the tradies' best mate. <laughs>